compared to 230, his stuff's gotten wildly better from year two to three. And away we go. Griff O'Farrell not wasting any time, skying the first pitch to the aforementioned Devin Obi, who makes the catch in center field. One pitch, one out. I'm an OBP of over 450. Does a nice job there of working a four pitch walk. And with the runner at first base who is on the move and it's looped into right field. Gracia is there. Here comes the throw back to first base and he is out at first base as Bravo puts the tag on a sliding Stefan and that will end the inning. It puts together as well. And nothing quiet about that. There is a loud sharp single to center and it is first at bat. The pen transfer, Ben Miller extends his hitting streak to eight games. And he rips a base hit to right field, so that early hard work pays dividends for Gracia back-to-back. -back. Base knocks for Miller and Gracia, two on with one out. Coming up here on two and two. Should be playable for Eric Becker, the third baseman in foul territory, and he puts it away. To quote Austin Pete, head coach, oh, how about that? On on cue, green shoes on, they're always on go. I think when you've got kids as talented, like this dude in the middle of their lineup, you give them the free will to swing early. Lead 12, and, and he's a big time pull hitter threat. Softly loops that one into right field, and it's gonna fall for a base hit. Ford will stop at second. And a base hit that hardly bends the turf out there in right field. Pickard at Salisbury a year ago. That's in the gap in left center field. Ford will score. Didowick is around second. He'll stop at third. And a long RBI single for Jacob Ferenc gives the Cavaliers the early lead tonight. One, two. Got him swinging, really handcuffed him on a pitch that was Riding right in on him. Would like to do here with that runner at third. The runner from first goes. There'll be no throw. And Ferenc will get second base to put two in scoring position. Try and extend the Cavalier lead. And he'll get a run home on this one as it's tapped to the second baseman Morris. He'll make the flip toss to Bravo for the out. Not one of the harder balls that Evan Ethan Anderson has ever hit, but he'll take the RBI. He gets his 17th run batted in. Eric Becker lines it down the right field line. This will be extra bases. It will score Ferentz to make it a 3-0 game. And Becker standing at second with a ringing two-out RBI double. He rips that one into left. He starts another hit streak. Rounding third is Becker. The throw to the plate is offline. The throw to second will be in time to get O'Farrell. But he will get an RBI single as Becker scores. And it is a big top of the second for the Virginia Cavaliers as they put four on the board and take a 4 nothing lead. To be able to get back in the offense on the prowl. Well, this is going to be a really quick inning, making Winslow, skying one to center. Harrison Didowick is there to reach up and make the catch. And that is a blink of the eye, three up, three out inning for Duke. An inevitable top three pick. Oh, and Jonathan Santucci now. So I don't think they were ever worried. I think it was more of a testament to the studs on the mound against him. And that gets away from Alex Stone as it hit, maybe hit home plate. I think it, trampoline effect, I think it caught the front end of the plate. plate Stone right? was yeah. in a great spot. To left center field, making Winslow. It is over his head, one hop off of the fence. Stefan will score, and Saki at second with an RBI double. His 31st run batted in of the year. Chase that one. That'll be a strikeout. They'll finish it off at first, all the while holding Casey Saki at second. One, two plays ahead. Out in front of that one. Didowick was ahead of it. Back to back strikeouts here for Higgins, two away in the third. Play D1 ball. You, you have to do X, Y, and Z. These dudes can play at any level, and with the portal opportunity, they're being able to display it. That's a one hopper off of the bat of Ferentz. Who had three players break camp on opening day at the major league level? Like big time stuff. Well, Wallace Clark just split the jack in half with a single straight up the middle of the field. 
That could be a double play ground ball. O'Farrell to Godbot and on to first to Henry Ford. It's a 6 4 3. That's in the gap in right center. Long run for Didowick. He won't get it. It takes one hop up off of the fence. And Miller is standing at second with a two out double. Oh. He's on the board with two outs. Soft flare into the outfield. It's going to fall for a base hit, and that's just what's going to happen. Miller will score. It's a two out rally, and they're on the board. Goodness gracious, Ben Miller, who's 14th double of the season, slides him into third place in the entire country. This might seem trivial, but Grassi here, he gets beat, but just being able to scratch one across to even that number and get it to 5 1. And then a tapper, a comebacker to Blanco, who's going to get his Austin Prep buddy 1 3 to end the inning. They lost a lot, yet with this caliber of stud, it's always relock and reload. Boy, they have their hitting shoes on tonight, and they're not wasting any time as Henry Godbout goes after the first pitch, and he doubles down the left field line. And Dak, you want these minimal guys on the base path with that dude up. No, he didn't get him either. That's a good look by Eric Becker, who's on for the second time. That pitch back off. Just, just yeah. to kind of slow the game down a little bit. Looped into right center field. Long run for three guys, and it's off of the glove of Zach Morris. Here comes Godbout to score. Becker's right on his heels. He's coming home, and he will score. It is a two-run bloop base hit for Griff O'Farrell. Stop me if you've heard this before, but a game of inches. Zach Morris just came down with what would have been an unbelievable web gem play, and it looks like he actually overruns it. The speed so Morris has it right off the heel of the glove. If he comes down with this baseball, they're clearly going to double him up as Becker was almost three quarters of the way. Going 0 for 4 yesterday. That's a two hopper to Morris. He will glove this one cleanly and make the play to first for the second out. Stefano moved the runner, just barely missing that four hole. Ben Miller that's transferred to Texas A&M last year, so the Power Fives have taken note, and they're playing with some juice, these Ivy League guys. Emus throws inside a ball and two strikes. Well, I think it may have hit him, huh? For last night's dominant performance from Santucci and others. There's a good hard 90 mile an hour fastball for Emus who picks up his second strikeout. And he takes high for ball four. So a hit batter and a walk here in the fifth inning. Oh and Godbout is hit by the pitch. So Emus has lost it here in the fifth inning with two hit batters and a walk. And that front hit Anderson. Called third strike. That's when they've gotten themselves in trouble. Two hopper to first base. Bravo will make the play. Noon does an excellent job of pitching out of a bases loaded one out situation. In the weight room and that's why you've seen his conditioning carry him late in the games. Sawed him off back up the middle sliding play Ooh. by O'Farrell and the glove <laughs> flip to God bout. For the out on Morris, star that one by Griff O'Farrell. What a night he's having. This year has only made two errors. That shortstop spot so rare. That one's going to get through as he beats the shift to left field, and Gracia is three for three. I thought it was going to be a challenging night against the South Pole. Gracia <laughs> says, shift this. To Longshaw, you know nothing. Great approach there, full. And that's outside for ball four to two. In the gap in right center field, that'll fall for a base hit. Miller's home, Grassi is around third. He will score. The throw came into third base. That allows Alex Stone to move up to second. Two more on the board. Runs in, two outs. On the right side, a one hopper to Henry Ford. He'll take the jog to the bag to retire the pinch hitter U and end the inning. Called third strike as he puts it on the corner. On to Charlie Bielinson, so to be able to bridge it to the back end and get you another backwards K. That is his third strikeout. Those back end leverage guys. To center field, spiraling out there for Obi. 
who makes the catch eight in a row set down by Tim Noon. You don't necessarily shift. Did he go? Yes, he did. Up over. Yeah. A beautiful night. <laughs> That's a called third strike. What a pitch by Chase Hungate. And it eats up A.J. Gracia. Harvard degree, Duke degree. A weird feeling. It's not going to be too difficult for Mr. Logan Bravo to find a job. He rifles that ball into left center field for a base hit. Heading back to the wall, it'll be extra bases. Bravo standing at second with a leadoff double to start the Duke eighth. Logan Bravo, round of applause. Bravo. Goes after the first pitch and a dribbler back to the mound. Hungate will make the play. And that's two down. It will advance. Bravo to third. And he hits it on the right side. This will be Ford to the pitcher. Hungate covering. And they do a nice job there of getting out of the inning. Here that the goal is to win an ACC championship, but to get back to Omaha. Gracia with a long run over there at the fence, and he reaches over the fence and grabs it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Couldn't help myself. Bounce towards shortstop. Wallace Clark on the run. A little bit high to first, but a good stretch by Bravo. Two down here in the ninth. Don't receive pitches in and out of the zone. Saki drives it to deep center. Obi racing back, 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 reaches out, and he makes the catch right in front of the center field fence. The speedster Devin Obi outruns the baseball. Against Hungate. Back up the middle to the backhand side. Godbout throw is low, but scooped out again to the backhand side by Henry Ford. Couple of those today. Clark golfs it to right field. Casey Salky hardly has to move except to reach out and make the catch. And there's two down in the ninth in the regular season. And then in the postseason, Virginia came back. And how appropriate is it that the final out belongs to Chase Hungate on the comebacker to the mound, and he finishes off the performance out of the bullpen from Chase Hungate, who picks up his second win of the season.